Hello, this is Dr. Don here in Mission Control, and I'm going to tell you some basic training about how to play the Rocket Math online game. When you start, you navigate to play.rocketmath.com. In your browser, you'll see this screen. Hit Enter to get started. You come to the login screen. You will use the username and passcode and account number that your teacher or parent has given you to log in and play the game. As soon as you enter those three pieces of information, you hit log in to begin. Let me tell you that earphones are important to your mission. Please plug in earphones and put them on. Why? You need them so you can hear corrections if you get anything wrong. Uh, you also uh, hear congratulations when uh, you do something right. And we have a lot of cool sound effects, and you don't want to just annoy your neighbors. Mission screen is where you come to. First, your mission is your learning track. You want to stick to your mission until you succeed. You can rest. You can log out. You can work again another day. But don't give up until you complete the mission all the way to level Z. Warning. If you're changed to a different learning track, then you're going to start on a different mission. And when you come back to this mission, you will have to start all over again at set A. You tap this curvy arrow here to go to the logout screen. Logout screen looks like this. Tap that white box to log out of the game. Tap the curvy arrow. You can go back into the game. You see your username in the orange box at the top of the screen. You see this little tiny arrow rocket uh, that's where you can see how you're doing. We'll come back and talk about this uh, at the end of basic training. And this is the button to start basic training, but you don't care about that because you're already listening to it. Tap here to get started on your mission. Now, there is a green feedback button for when things don't work right. So if there's a glitch of some kind in the computer, please tell us by clicking on this green feedback button. We read the comments from the green feedback button so we can fix some problems. So please don't send us rude or silly comments. Thank you for being considerate. The first phase in the game is the takeoff phase. Takeoff uh, is where you're taking off from the ground with a new level. Two new facts in their reverses. You have to do 12 in a row without a mistake. You don't have any others in there, just those two new facts and reverses, but you got to get up through 12 in a row without a mistake, so be careful. Guess how to start? You hit the go button. Yes, here's the playing screen. Your level shows. Uh, this person's on level D. You, to complete your mission, you have to work up through all the levels, all the way to level Z. And not everybody can do that. It's a little hard. Here is the number of problems uh, you have left to finish in this phase. And this bar tells how much time is left for this particular problem. This person doesn't have much time left. You have three seconds to answer, usually six seconds if you have a two-digit answer. So you have to be fast. Now, you can erase if you make a mistake. So if you know you entered a wrong answer, you can hit the back button. It will erase your whole answer, and you can try again. But you can only do this once per problem. Ding! If you have the right answer entered when the three seconds are up, you will hear a ding. Can you go faster? Well, if you can, you don't have to wait. Instead of waiting after your answer, you can hit the check mark to move on to the next problem even faster. When you hit the check mark, you'll hear a ding, ding. If you're too slow, whoops. If you're too slow, you'll, the screen will turn pinkish. You'll hear an error buzz. <clears throat> the screen shakes its head for no and displays the time's up screen. Listen while well, Mission Control says, you got to go faster. Wait, listen for the answer. Then Mission Control tells you the problem and the answer and says, go again. After Mission Control says, go again, then you can enter the correct answer and hit the check mark. Mission Control will wait until you hit the check mark. The screen is pinkish while it gives you some extra practice. You're going to do the one you missed again. You're going to do another problem. Then you're going to do the one you missed again. You're going to do another problem. Then you do the one you missed again. Then the screen goes back to white. What if you enter a wrong answer and you don't erase it? Whoops, if you enter a mistake, the screen turns pinkish. You get the error buzz. Eh. Screen shakes its head no. 
listen while mission control says the problem and the answer and then says go again after mission control says go again then you can enter the correct answer hit the check mark mission control will wait until you hit the check mark screen stays pinkish while it gives you extra practice you do the one you missed again do another problem the one you missed again another problem the one you missed again make sure you know it. we want you to learn that's what we're about then the screen goes back to white that's strike one. When you have to do that extra practice, it counts as a strike. The, the red X is here. Keep track of your strikes. Takes three strikes to go out and start over in any phase. Take off orbit or universe. So you get to the tar starting over screen. Many times, probably every phase, you're going to have to start over a few times. It's a little tough having to start over on a part, but it takes toughness to become an astronaut, and it takes toughness to finish your mission in rocket math. In fact, uh, there is a toughness certificate. If you're having to start over a lot, let your teacher know how tough you are, because if you can start over without whining about it, you may qualify for a toughness certificate from your teacher and Dr. Don. Orbit phase comes next. In the orbit phase, you take this level up into orbit around our planet. You do up to 30 problems. Orbit problems are the new problems you just learned and some of the problems you learned recently. Take a breather. You get to take a breather after 15 problems in the orbit phase. A breather is a short break to catch your breath and look around for a second or two. Take as long as you need for your breather. Then hit go to end the breather and restart playing. The universe phase is next. In the universe, you take this level out into the starry universe. It can also have up to 30 problems with a breather in the middle. These are from all the problems you've learned so far. So the universe level is tough. Then battery down. This, this game is intense. You shouldn't do rocket math for too long without a break. You could go crazy. Your teacher can set you up to work for five for 10 or 15 minutes at a time, but no, no more than 15 minutes. And when the battery goes down, you have to wait at least 20 minutes. This will keep you from going crazy, doing something else. So hit that little curvy arrow and log out of the game. Really, go do something else. This counter shows you how much time is left in your 20 minutes. Hopefully, you have something better to do than watch it count down. When you finish a level, you come to this screen. Um, you, someone will congratulate you, and the tile for that level will explode and fall off. And now you can see a little more of the picture. You can see this person just finished level I. You should be proud. When you finish level Z, you will have completed your mission. You'll have a complete picture. All the tiles will be gone. This is a difficult accomplishment. So that's why you should be proud. You can see how you're doing anytime you want by tapping that little rocket in the upper right corner. Uh, then you can hear the explosion and see the last tile fall again. You log out with that curvy arrow wherever you see it. You click on it and then you click on it again in the start screen. That takes you to the logout and um, you can be done. And that, my friends, is the basic training on how to play rocket math. If you can do this if you're tough enough. You could get a lot better in math by doing this. Congratulations for trying.